Hello everyone. In this experiment, we'll be seeing how we can use Amazon AWS Cognito service for authentication and OAuth management. So we'll be seeing that uh, we'll be implementing that using a local host uh, service. So right now, for let us see how we can do it. So what I'm going to do is I'll just create this new folder, new folder. And I'll open my uh, code editor in that. I'll be using VS code for this experiment. Okay. So here I'm going to create a few files. One file will be index.html. Another file will be logged.html. And another will be logged out.html. So it's going to be a very simple and easy demo of uh, using the Cognito service provided by AWS. Okay, so what is supposed to be written in index.html? So it's a simple four line code. So let me just uh, paste it in. And I will be providing the steps in the description. You can uh, take a look at that. That's not an issue. So, okay. Okay, so index.html is created. So here it's just showing welcome to AWS authentication demo. And uh, this href will be filling that after we set up our AWS Cognito. So now in logged out, we'll be pasting, uh, you have logged out successfully and we'll be giving in temporary href reference link. So like basically when you click on logout, uh, it's supposed to go to some AWS service, right? So that's why temporarily I've given X and the same will be for logged in also. So it should say you are logged in or oh, it's actually the opposite. Okay. Okay. So I have created three files index.html, logged out.html, logged in.html. So let me just start this server now. Okay. So here I'll just type Python. You need to have Python installed for this. Python him HTTP dot server. So my server will start here. Yeah, see, so serving on port 88,000. So let me just open a new uh, browser tab. Here, let me type localhost. 8000. So as you can see, I get uh, something like this. Welcome to AWS uh, authentication demo. If I click on this, nothing will happen because uh, here nothing is given right currently. So here just X is given. So nothing will be happening. Okay. So now let me open my AWS uh, account. Okay. So as you can see, my AWS has been uh, logged in. So here I'm going to search for Cognito. See? Uh, consumer identity management. Let me wait for this to load. Okay. Uh, so I have already created one. Let me just uh, go ahead and delete that. Yeah, delete user poll. Okay. So if I search AWS Cognito, I will get a page like this. Okay. So here click on get started for free in less than five minutes. Let this be a traditional application. I'm just going to give uh, demo underscore app. I want to use email. And in attributes, I'll give uh, email as well. Email and name. Okay. I've given two attributes and I'll click on create user direct. Okay. So here click on this uh, hamburger menu, go to user polls, click on this, your user poll. Okay. So in the overview, what you need to do is you need to go to the app clients over here. App clients. Can you see? Just click on that app clients. 
and uh, this is my demo app i just created this right so i'll just click on this okay so here go to login pages so as you can see login pages is here right just go to login pages click on edit here you need to add few urls okay so add another url which url is supposed to add you are supposed to add your local uh, address so this is the local address so it's http localhost 8000 slash logged in dot html why logged in dot html so as you can see we have created three files right logged in logged out so here if i give uh, logged in dot html it will show logged in so i give logged out dot html i'll say it will say you are logged out okay so that is what we are trying to simulate over here so logged in dot html and i want to add another sign out url okay so it will be log out dot html okay so this is what uh, configuration is supposed to do then click on save changes before that let us just check if uh, everything is correct yes email id open id and phone number is that correct yes everything is correct over here and yes click on save changes okay now once that is done go back to uh, wait this will copy paste uh, we are supposed to copy a link so we have to click on view login page you will get a sign in like this right just copy this go to your uh, vs code in index.html go ahead and paste the link as it is okay so as it is i'm pasting the link in logged in uh, you're supposed to paste the same thing but you need to replace a few things okay so let me just paste it here what you're supposed to change is in logged in you have to supposed to change it to logged out so see i'm getting this uh tab right so it's automatically generating so logged login will change to log out response type will be removed completely okay so at the end it will be like this this will be your new url what you're supposed to remove you're logged in to logged out you have to change here login will be there supposed to change it to log out and remove the re response id okay this is for logged in and for logged out you can paste the same thing which you paste in logged in.html okay so i'll paste the same okay so by doing this our configuration is done now let us check how this will work so here if i just uh, go to the main okay click on login with aws this new sign in page will open okay so here let me just uh, quickly sign into an account so i have put my email id so as i've already created a password so let me just uh, type in the password real quick click on continue okay i've got an uh, error so let me just put in a new email id okay so as you can see uh, i had entered my email id and password so now I'm, uh, it is asking me for an uh, verification code okay so i'll just give in my kind of uh, verification code and see you can see uh, i have been redirected to the logged in uh, page right so this is what uh, we are supposed to do so instead of us creating our own uh, authentication system or oauth system because it, quite, it gets quite difficult to create our own system to send uh, verification mails uh, and all of that OTPs, two-step verification, all of that is difficult. Okay, so to implement by uh, implement it ourselves, it's very difficult. That is why we are using this Cognito service to make our uh, development of authentication and security easier. So this was a small demo of uh, how we can implement Cognito service. So if you have any queries, you can uh, feel free to use the description. I will. Uh, surely reply to your uh, doubts and yeah thank you so much for watching like share and subscribe